Hey everybody, I'm Shane Mason and this is Mason Boys Outdoors. Yesterday me and Amos went fishing in the same spot we went last week and um, I wanted to take Amos there and catch him some fish. We did catch a couple but um, it's always interesting when you got a three-year-old in the boat with you. So let's head down to the river for a little redfish action and then we'll bring it on back to the kitchen and let Chastity grill some redfish. She is like a five-star cook. Y'all stay tuned for Chastity's grilled redfish. Going fishing. Yeah. And this is Amos Mason. And Bimo. <laughs> I just got a hit on that line. That line started taking off. You ready to catch a fish? Amos, come here. Come here, where you at? No, I'm Bingo, come catch this fish. Really? Real? Real? Hold the pole. Real? You got a real? What you got, Amos? Huh? Reeling? Reeling? You don't want him? Here he comes, Amos. Ooh. Here he comes. Do you want to see the fish? Oh, it's a big old red fish. Here he comes, Amos. Woo! Look at that fish. We got one red fish. We hadn't been here five minutes. Mom, Bindo. Some puppy dog out. Huh? You gonna hold the fish up? No. No? Why does it have a brick? What? Dog talk to I'm throwing right down this right down this bank. I'm put it right there. I'm gonna let that sink to the bottom and then I'm gonna rig up another another dead shrimp. Hmm? Got a good one. Oh my <laughs> They hadn't been hitting the dead shrimp, but this joker feels heavy. I caught him on a matrix shad. Oh, he's, he's just doing circles. What in the world have I got? It's just a redfish. It's all tangled up. About the size we've been catching right here. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. Put them in the fish tank. I don't know. I, I, I got uh, two rods out with dead shrimp. As soon as we got here, I had a hit and then I caught one. And, um, Put them in the fish tank. But after that, man, it, it's just been silent. And I've been trying to, um, what's it called, a Helgramite? Nothing. Five cast, not a, not a bump, no nothing. First cast with a Matrix Shad and bam got him let's measure him he's gonna be right at 18 if he makes it yeah he's like 18 and a quarter so he's legal we'll put him in the live well for now hopefully we get some more that bump him out what kind of fish are you catching bring it here Amos I'll fix it for you huh Amos, quit slamming that lob wheel. Need somebody to open that. Okay, here you go. I don't want this. It's hard to fish with a three-year-old and a five-year-old, but the thing is, I'd rather teach them how to fish than actually me worrying about catching fish and stuff like that. Even trying to do YouTube, I'd rather them have the love of fishing than, than me having a mess of fish, you know? I, I believe if you uh, teach them while they're young, get them out here and fish, that they'll, they'll love it when they're older. The Bible says something about that. Bible says uh, train a child up uh, when they're young and when they're older they won't depart from it. 
I know that's talking about biblical terms and stuff like that, but I believe if you put the love of the outdoors in their heart uh, when they're young, ah, they'll they'll love it when they're old too. I don't know if that was a strike or if I was on something. I don't know. Looks like a strike. Had my tail pulled my tail down. I got a matrix shad right here, the purple and gold kind. Can't really remember what it was. I got a Carolina rig right now because I was using dead shrimp on it and I cut the uh, bait holder hook and put a uh, small jig head on it. And I caught one redfish on it. We've caught two so far, uh, 18 and a 19 inch one. We'll try that spot right there. Name is slamming the live well. You can't get frustrated at them because they're kids. Like I was saying earlier, you want to put the love of the outdoors and fishing in their hearts. And you won't do that if you're always mad at them. So just let them play. When they're out here with you, concentrate more on them than fishing as he <laughs> as he's crying behind you huh you don't bite the orange don't bite the orange Why? bring it to daddy and i'll peel it for you i've never peeled an orange so fast in my life here he goes amos here you go amos two pieces orange 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 Let's try right here along this wall. Okay. Okay. Okay, Daddy. All right, Amos. Daddy, I'm sure to do it right there. Daddy, I'm sure to do it right there. Right there? Hey, guys, we're back here at the house about to clean these redfish. And Amos and I were down there fishing, and I know that the redfish was, was still in there. I mean, the first cast, I had a hit. Second cast, I caught one. They were still there. I think the, I think they're just spooky. It's a lot of people fish that hole. So I caught one on the, as soon as we got there, before Amos could scare them all away. And then... Then I caught another one on the Matrix Shad. I don't, just bumped him in the nose, I guess. Think about redfish, they'll, they'll hit a wide variety of baits. Just gotta put it in front of them. But I'm excited about Chastity's grilled redfish. She's a very good cook, so anytime she says she's gonna cook something, like redfish or something like that, I'm in for it. Well, let me show you how to clean this redfish. I know I showed y'all last week, but hey, this is a catch, clean, and cook. So just cut it down right there real quick. And you slide your fillet knife right down the backbone. And you can cut it right back, right down to the ribs and back up. Then you feel for the ribs, get all the way down past the ribs, and then you push it all the way through. When it comes out the other side, just follow the backbone on down and just slide your blade on through. And then when you get back up here with the ribs, just follow these ribs on around. Just cut the meat off of them. And there you go. Got your redfish filet ready for the grill. And your redfish thin as a bean. All right, we're now in the kitchen and I'm about to turn it over to Chastity and she's gonna cook up a five star grilled redfish recipe. Five star, huh? I, I think she must have been feeling sorry for me last week. Let's see what she does. And a machete. And a machete. We're gonna throw a machete in, in the recipe as no. well. <laughs> what? No, not this machete. Not that machete? <laughs> no, a different machete. 
When you see me do a catch, clean, and cook, it's going to be easy, simple, and delicious. When you see Chastity um, cooking, you know it's going to be absolutely amazing. We are going to first spray our pan with some Pam just to keep the fish from sticking to it. I'm going to put the red fish on top here. I've peeled and deveined some shrimp. The things you need for this recipe are uh, pepper, bell peppers, onions, garlic, butter, squash, shrimp, and Italian dressing. Butter makes everything better. So we're going to put down tabs of butter on each fillet. I like to, to salt and pepper the fish underneath first and don't be careful not to over pepper it so i have these frozen three color bell peppers and onion strips kind of i guess it's like fajita and i'm just going to use frozen and it you can use frozen it probably would taste better or fresh but it is what it is today this is helpful when you only have a couple fish and a lot of people. Then I bought yellow squash. We're gonna put that down next. And it makes a really colorful, pretty dish if you're entertaining. And next we're putting minced garlic. But um, if you don't have minced garlic, you can also use garlic salt or garlic, just cut down on the salt that you use. Or you can use garlic powder which doesn't contain the salt. Then we're going to put down the shrimp. I put the shrimp on and realized that I bought way too much shrimp. This is two pounds of shrimp. You could probably do it with one pound or even smaller shrimp, like if you're getting frozen at the grocery store. It's just to give it a little bit more meat. Uh, the vegetables are cooked in with it. So I serve this with rice. It's really good with rice. If you want to serve it with dirty rice and use Tony's, you can do that. And it makes kind of like a, a Creole, Creole dish. I'm going to try it this time with Italian dressing on top. So we're experimenting a little bit. Not I, too much because... I had a guy comment and gave me a recipe and, and in his recipe was Italian dressing. Yeah. Well, any kind of fish or chicken really does well with a marinade of Italian dressing, but you don't want to go overboard with it. And I've decided we're not grilling this because of all the shrimp. It's going to be too heavy, so I'm setting our oven on broil. And we're going to wait for it to heat up. We're going to pop it in probably about 35 minutes until the shrimp starts to shrivel up and pink. And everything else should be done about that time. Chastity is about to give us a peek in the oven. It's looking, oh my goodness. Mm. I'm going to check it because you don't want to overcook the shrimp. Anybody that's had overcooked shrimp knows that they can be a little rubbery. As long as the fish doesn't look underdone anywhere, you're good. Shrimp cooks quickly. So. How long was it in there? About 20 minutes on broil. Here's our finished product. Can y'all smell that? I know y'all wish y'all could. All right, here's the plated mm. version of our dish. It goes, it goes really well with mashed potatoes, rice. Uh, you could do it with dirty rice. You could do it with um, even grits if you wanted to do like a shrimp and grits kind of thing with red fish. It'd be really good. Uh, you want me to try it with the mashed potatoes? If you eat things together like that. I do. I do. And this is fine. Thank you guys for sharing the video. Those that, that have. And that's the best compliment that you can, uh, that you could ever give me. And so I appreciate that. Remember, I can still try. <laughs> you nailed it. Remember guys, like the videos, subscribe to the channel. And always catch a mess and leave the rest. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next video.